everyone, my name is Art Spitfire, and welcome to a very kind of special video. <clears throat> this is my story about being bi plus pansexual, as I would say, uh, in a trip into the brony fandom, and how I guess came out to my uh, mom about the uh, situation. I discovered the Brony fandom in 2011, at like the prime of the Brony fandom. I watched some things, uh, watched an episode, and thought, eh, it's good for a, uh, a kid show, and never thought of it again. Uh, until, I believe it was like 2014, 2015, in that area, when one of my close friends, I still kind of keep in touch with him, uh, came to me, because this when I was still, I think my last year of high school, uh, told me, uh, about a character named Discord, who, by you know, came at the premiere of season two. I'm not sure where the show was in 2015, I don't remember, but he, uh, told me about that. So I'm like, that sounds interesting. I'm going to look it up. So I did and found out that it was, he was, this group was voiced by uh, John Delancey, which uh, was a, uh, he played Q in Star Trek. So I was very interested because I knew him from that and some other things that he did. So I, uh, I would look into it. So I watched the season two premiere and thought this is better uh, than the, um, you know, first episode the first two episodes of season one, uh, and I kept watching from season two. I actually kind of was way into the fandom, as you can tell, I joined 2014, 2015, um, and I stayed a fan ever since. Uh, how does this get into the story? Uh, well, it's a interesting story, because I watched them reactions, and that's how I got into the whole reaction thing. The first reactor I've ever saw, and this is a weird story, is I saw Brownie Dash's uh, reaction to Rainbow Rocks. I was like, this is cringy and stupid, but somehow refreshing to see someone else watch a movie that I haven't seen. Because I didn't even know, you know, I was starting, you know, right in, jumping right into the fandom with Rainbow Rocks. Uh, after watching, you know, season two and, you know, I don't know what else. I, you know, I don't remember what season they were in, so, you know, I just watched season two. And, uh, then I just jumped into that because I saw it online. I'm like, this looks interesting. And I pushed it and I watched it. Like I said, it was cringy, but somehow refreshing in some regards and that was when I was like I want to do that and I had our first channel where I started it and I think it sounded kind of cringy as well so I uh, deleted that channel and another channel which is now my primary channel and now there's this channel which is the Spitfire channel which is my reaction channel so now let's get into the primary fact of this telling my parents I was a brony. Well, I can't really tell my dad. He's 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 dead, so I can't tell him. If I try, it probably won't work. Uh, so yeah, I told my mom, and with every ounce of her being being a kind of, I don't want to throw my mom under the bus, being a good mom, but still kind of weirded out by the whole thing, being like back in her day. That sounds like my mom sound old, so I'm not trying to do that. But, you know, back in her day, uh, My Little Pony was mentally, mentally for little girls. Uh, she was, uh, you know, around when it was mostly for little girls and trying to, shout, trying to sell little girl toys for, um, you know, kids of that nature. Where there was only, like, two genders, boys and girls. And those were the only two things, you know, now there's like 
50 genders. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Edit that out, editor. Which is me. I probably won't. But, uh, who fucking cares? Uh, but, yeah. So I told her, and she, with, you know, I said this with the mom reaction. She was kind of weirded out and thought, is my son gay? And that was like an honest reaction. I think every parent is that when I watch is when they tell their parents their their first reaction is is my son or my daughter gay? And that is a honest question that I would probably come up with if I was a parent and my son or daughter was like, Well, I I wouldn't be really curious for a, a daughter unless they're like old, you know, older and you'd be like, Oh, this is weird But I wouldn't like say they were gay or a lesbian or anything, but for a man it's like, Yeah, there's something off. And about 2016, I came out as a, a bi slash pansexual to my mom. And then later her boyfriend found out when she is a huge uh, Christian and most of my family's Christian. So this is kind of just a huge on telling to everyone who sees it. So, yeah. Hello, everyone of my family. And I hope you don't disappoint me. Where I disappoint you, where whatever happens, if you don't like this, I'm just gonna abandon you. Uh, so yeah, I'm a way we do that. It's just something that happens. So my mom was all okay with it. She was kind of confused and was like seeing this the sign coming from a mile away. Oh, if you don't know what pansexual is, I'll leave like links to like definitions in the uh, description but for a quick disclaimer by means I have the uh, you know the I'm not, I'm not sure how to explain it maybe I'll just leave the definitions but I have the will to have a sexual or romantic feeling for the opposite gender pan means I just like and get attracted to people's emotions and feelings in personalities, which I am. I'm a really friendly, outgoing, extroverted person. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So she heard that, and then my, uh, uh, my mom's boyfriend's son saw, I made a Facebook, Facebook, wow, uh, Facebook thing talking about this whole thing when it came out the first time his son saw it told him and then he told my mom again which really kind of like shook her that I posted that on like where everyone could see me like all my friends and all my family <laughs> hopefully like only like two of my family members saw that and they were both really really supportive my mom is still kind of on the fence about it my mom was more supportive of me being a furry than being a brony and being bi so that's that's kind of where she lies on this whole like thing right now so yeah i just wanted to say that i uh that was my brony story and uh me coming out as kind of a bisexual pansexual person so we're bisexual plus as i hear a lot of people say when I talk to them, like, oh, what are you? And they're like, oh, bisexual plus. So I'm like, oh, I guess that's what I am too then. Because I identify as, like, a bisexual. But that was way before I found out about pansexuality. And now I'm on the fence about if I'm bi or pan. And I think I'm in between now, so that's why I say. So, yeah, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. And I thought I'd just do this and we get it out there and so you if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them with the best of my uh, abilities so yeah I guess that that's it I have nothing really else to say it's just a oh again I don't really have any too many uh, people make fun of me coming out most of the people were super supportive my friends were super supportive like everyone I knew was super supportive it's just that I think those people that like oh you're 
gay where you're about you're going to burn in hell like those people are just you know probably not going to appreciate me doing this and probably will you know abandon me and they'll just go fuck them I'll abandon them first but you know it, it happened so yeah that's that's my story uh and I hope you enjoyed it because I actually need to get that off my chest to tell actually tell that that's why I want a new webcam too so I can also do this I just didn't know the right time to do it so I guess that time is now so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my story because I enjoy telling you it there's not really much else to say yeah I think I'm good my mind's blank so I think I got it all out there Again, if you have any questions or if you just want to say anything, please leave them in the comments and I'll answer them at any time. So, yeah, I hope you, again, hope you enjoyed. Uh, peace the fuck out and bye. Bye-bye.